Today I'm going to talk about um, batteries, using RC batteries for our electric bikes, electric dirt bikes, you know, like the MX650 and um, in my case, anything off-road, which is kind of what I focus on. So I just wanted to show you real quick what I've been doing. Um, so I like these RC packs that I get from rcbatteries.com. They're, you, you usually can get them for 20 bucks. I've gotten them even cheaper. Um, it's not uncommon to get like buy one, get one for a dollar kind of stuff. So I've, I've bought them over the, over the years. I've bought them really cheap and you can just gang them together in any combination you want series and parallel so that you can end up getting the voltage and the amp uh amp, our, the capacity that you want so um so what i've what i've done is i've created adapters that i use for um ganging them together and so uh, this is an example i have a 60 volt dirt bike that i use these batteries in and so what I do is I I series all five of these packs together, and the way you do that is you you just go negative positive negative positive negative positive negative positive negative back to positive. So all of them are series together, so it ends up giving you 12, 24, 36, 48, 50, 60 volts. So it gives you the five amp hour capacity at 60 volts so i plug all these all these together plug that into the dirt bike i'm good to go um, with the mx650 i'm running four cells so i could take one of these out and i could just run four just like this the same thing 12 24 36 48 volts at five amp hours and then um, sometimes i want like 10 amp, amp hour capacity so i'll take eight of these batteries together and then I will series them. I mean, I'll parallel them. So I'll I'll do two of these sets, boom, boom, and then I'll take both of those connections and parallel them so that I end up with the same 48 volts, but with a 10 amp hour capacity. So I've done that with with all of with all my toys. I've been running these for a long time. And you know, you could do three cells if you just want to do three 36 volt system. You could just do the two cells for a 24 volt, like some of the power wheels and stuff my little kids ride. And if I want to ride for a long time, I can, just like I said, I could take these and I could set it up and then, and then parallel these. And boom, you've got... 10 amp hours of 24 volt battery and you could drive that power wheel for hours. So that's kind of what I've been doing. I get these real cheap. They tend to be cheaper than when you buy the ready-made um, 18650 cells. Those, um, they're either not very good because they're from China or they um, cost a lot of money. Whereas these, I mean, this right here cost me less than $100 and I'm able to drive it for a decent amount of time because most of my, you know, electric bikes and things, they, they don't pull a whole lot, 30 amps or something at most and drops off from there. So I'm able to get quite a few miles on these. And then you do want to use a, a decent hobby charger that can keep them balanced just to make sure that, you know, you charge them individually. I run a couple of chargers so I can recharge them fairly quickly.